Hello, I'm Pla Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Sunday the 30th of April 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there I give mini reads for donations. So if you're interested in coming along, you can find the next show laying in right wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. If you're interested in a private reading with me, they're available from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also on up there too. I get them out within 48 hours of you ordering them. If it says it's sold out when you try and book in, it's just sold out for the day. So do check back a day or so later. So what's in the energies for everybody today? We have tending to the future. So a long-term vision about something. It could be something you're passionate about as well because... I wasn't sure whether this card wanted to come out with it too. Oh no, it's the past life, past lives card. Well, it's a good thing I checked. So let's take it. I thought it was the passion card, but it's not. It's the tending to the future and past lives. So you could be looking back at something that you tried to do for the long term, perhaps a relationship or a business or something like that in the past that didn't quite work out to the long term. You could be. Tending to the future now, wanting to do something long term and kind of reminiscing at the way you did something similar in the past or something like that. What else? Passion. There's the passion card. <laughs> something that you're passionate about. Or something that you pursued because you're passionate about it and you thought it was going to build, build to something really big and successful in the past and it kind of didn't or fell short and you might be reminiscing on that because you're about to set sail on something new, something similar, setting sail on a new course. We had our energies yesterday, a lot of change going on at the moment, so still in that kind of an energy, but today more reminiscing on similar things that you've done in the past. Ace of Swords, a bright idea, or an aha, it could be an aha as well. The five of wands, feeling kind of competitive. And this could be with yourself as well. It could be like, well, I tried before. I tried before and I failed. Um, or I, it could be an aspect of competition here. So previously you might not have known yourself as well as you do now. And you might have been, have been more competitive, you know, trying to do things in the way that other people would do it. Um, you, you might not be in that energy anymore. You know, if we're starting something off new for the future, the, the more it's about us rather than competing with anyone else, the better. And, and that can come with maturity, right? I tend to be competitive more when we're younger. And then as we older, wiser, we tend not to do that. We tend, you know, life's too short to do that. There's no point, right? We just want to be ourselves and, and do what we really want to do. The Nine of Wands, again, stuff about the past is what I'm getting from this. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, so it's about stuff that you've been through in the past. You could be like that that little niggle inside going, but I failed before, you know. It could be just chip, chipped away a little bit at your optimism. Could have been very optimistic about it yesterday and, and then like memories of the past, you know, you could have slept last night and had a dream and had something to do with something in your past and your subconscious mind is going, remember when you fail and, you know, you're not feeling so optimistic anymore. So feeling pulled in two directions, the chariot card. So a bit of optimism there for this tendency to the future, but the stuff in the past there that's like, ah, oh, but I didn't do that well that time. Ace of Swords, but you could be getting in a horror about it or having an idea about it today about planting seeds for something big in the long term, something that makes you really happy, something that you'll really love. And it could be with someone that you'd really love as well for some of you with that music of emotions. So, yeah, a great idea for something, that planting a seed for starting something off, for getting something going, for in, investing in something and starting it off. Definitely the start of something new here that's going to make you really happy. So you're getting ideas today about it all past present and future but as i said you've got that stuff from the past coming in a lot of future energy here but the past energy too so what you've been through before now what you've been through before has given you a lot of information um, when we have trial runs at things you know it's like whose first business um failed or succeeded you know first business generally doesn't right I know, like I've still got my first business. This is my first business, but it changed. You see, I kept, I kept kind of 
it's changed. It's changed since I, I first started it. It was called. It wasn't called Bee Healing when I first started it. I changed the name because it was first Byron Bay Neurotherapy. That's how I started it off, which was good. I mean, it, it was good, but it it wasn't really me, you know. It developed from there, and so it could be something like that of something that you're planting a seed. It has something to do with the past. I don't know what my point was there. I've lost track. Anyway, five of wands. You could have been like competitive in the past. And now you've got clarity. Now you've got clarity, muse of voices, about reciprocation, about perhaps giving back energy or um, or you receiving as well. I don't know. Some of you have learned to receive and perhaps you haven't learned to receive. So if if you find it really difficult to receive, then business isn't going to go so well. If we're talking about business here, I'm not sure whether we're talking about business. But whatever this thing is that we are considering. Now, the sexual energy behind that as well. There could be an aspect of com competitive people that you were doing it with. Unreciprocal people. But there was some kind of a sexual charge there. So perhaps you tried to create a business or try, try to do something new with a lover or someone that you had that kind of an energy with and it, it didn't go right. A bit of a messy energy and competitive, competitivity behind that. So the wounded warrior goes, mm, not so sure about getting into this um, because of my previous experiences on that battlefield, that particular battlefield. Is it better to do it alone? Is it better to go things alone and not have a business partner or definitely not do it with a romantic partner and what's behind that is teaching so i'm learning i'm learning i learn from the past yeah that was my point um that's the point i was trying to make before who's whose first businesses like succeed very rare right but we learn so much from it and every step of the way so you've learned from that so it's not so much saying, so you might, the past might come up today and might make you feel like you're doubting yourself, but instead focus on what you learned, um, what you've learned since then and what you learned from those experiences, because that is the gold here. So put, feeling pulled in two directions now, the last today, chariot, feeling a bit optimistic, feeling a bit pessimistic too. Tell us why the chariot's here. I think we know why the chariot's here. But... Don't let the pessimism stop you. As I said, focus on what you've learned from the past. The fool starting something off, new idea kind of thing, and starting something off. It's a risk. I know it's a risk, but life is about that, you know. And if we don't take any risks, then we can't do anything good in life. So do it. Do it anyway. What's behind that is transformation yeah you've changed you've transformed you've grown so don't pay much heed to that past stuff that's coming up it, in take it as a reminder it's not it's not coming up as a reminder it's coming up as a you should be scared of this your subconscious is trying to protect you from it. it's reminding you of where you've gone wrong in the past you know th that's what our subconscious does it tries to scare us it tries to scare us away from the things that are going to kill us it's trying to keep us alive um but it it's not pointing out things that will kill us like it's, it's not going to kill you this stuff um so instead take it as it's pointing out how how much you've grown how much you've learned since then what about our love lives today we've got freedom there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be Nothing stopping you in your love life, apparently. That is clear. What else? Assess the situation that you're in at the moment. Now, for some of you, you might be considering going into business with a partner, with um, a lover here. So you've got to assess that situation, as I said. Just be careful of that. might not be the best idea. We've got forgiveness. Fun, commitment and romance so it could be forgiving someone in the past especially if you went into business with a past partner if that's what all the whatever stuff was about that i was saying about um romance fun and commitment 
interesting someone that you've got romance and fun with might not be the person that you want to commit to other things with now remember a couple of days ago we had that energy of perhaps energies about investing too much in relationships and not in yourself so that when you get out of a relationship when it ends you, you, you realize oh I, I haven't got anything left for myself you know i was pinning everything on that so don't get into a situation like that again you can have both you know you can have a relationship and a good business you don't necessarily need to tie the two together because if you tie the two together when you lose one you lose both so just think be thinking on that today for some of you we've also got the erotic and victim here as well and so yeah you could have been a victim to something or felt a victim for something in the past because you put too much invested too much in a relationship instead of keeping those um divisions between assets and relationships or or business and relationships and that kind of thing okay what else what else in the energies today we have cane pay attention to your health we have a bag something important such as a new job or a raise. Got a man. Dealings or relationship with a man. And frying pan, trouble and accusations from him. Or a man is trouble and accusations and you could be accusing a man of something. There's definitely some, some stuff about past here that is, is not good energy. It's not feeling good. <laughs> So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. But this is just a bit of fun because this is a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull one of these crystals out for a specific question you've got, then come along to my Psychic Cafe show live here on YouTube three times a week. We'd love to do that for you in there and give you a mini read. I can also use those in private readings as well. Book yourself in. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. After you've booked in, click on the Contact Us page. Put any questions that you've got for your readings in there. We'll have us to deal with these energies today. Three of Cups. It's not that card. Mm -mm. I was wondering because I kind of pulled it out sideways. It was sticking out and I was wondering whether it was it or not. It's not. It's the Empress. That's better. Empress. The Empress, she knows her worth. She knows what she deserves. She creates, She builds an empire for herself. For herself. I think this is what these energies are about. You need to build an empire for yourself. And yes, you can have a relationship and all of that. Don't tie everything up in it all. The Empress knows herself. She knows what she's worth. She knows what she deserves. She's a very capable kind of a person. She's the queen of all queens because she's learned. She's learned to master all the aspects of herself. And so she can head in and create something and build her empire for herself in with that knowledge you know and and holding her head high so just realize how much you've learned from everything that you've been through and don't get too scared today because of previous experiences so think of a yes or no answer question now pause the video if you're not ready for your answer your answer is yes go for it there you go thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like on this video down there leave a comment and click on the subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me i do one of these energy updates every single day of the year i go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show and i make three love pick a card reads a week as well you can find one of those right there right now and watch that next if you want we'll have the best day ever and i'll see you tomorrow bye